I'm Trillium SL1 on YouTube and Richard Thompson. Also on Google Plus, at email for help on Twitter and whatnot. Today I'm doing something a bit different. Now normally I do Minecraft videos, but this is a Minecraft video in a way. This is a tutorial on how to use the best Minecraft launcher there is. This launcher is called Multi MC and it allows you to have different instances of Minecraft. So as you can see, I have all my Feed the Beast imported, as well as I have a few different uh, testing versions. I have the new Forestry, which I'm testing, because that's not in any packs besides the beta pack. Uh, this is the 152 mod pack. This has too many items. Uh, my normal Minecraft, blah de blah, blah This has a Shader mod. This is my... Uh, this is what I'm using currently to connect to the community server. It has NEI and uh, other things. So let's go through the basics of setting up a new instance. First of all, you want to click New Instance. You enter a name. You, I'll just do YouTube Video. And you can select the version of Minecraft that you want. So you can go to 13w12. Now unfortunately the new versions with the new launcher are not yet in this. Uh, you can go back all the way to 1.2. 1, 1 you can also go to older snapshots and whatnot if there's a bug you want to play around with and try it yourself. But I'm just going to do 1.5.2 for testing. And boop. And what's really nice is they have built-in modding. So let me just find my YouTube. So let's say edit a mod. Now I want to add, uh, let's see, let's add a mod here. Let's go to documents. Let's add Optify. Boom, added. Just like that, it's so simple. Oh, I want to add a texture pack. Okay, let's do that. I'll just grab one out of my vanilla Minecraft launcher here. Faithful 32, boom, added. Uh, what else? Uh, let's, oh, we want to add Forge. Simple, simple. You got to build right into installing Forge right in your Minecraft. Get the latest version of Forge going to take care of it all for you. Simple, easy. There is one thing, I'm not sure if it removes the um, Minecraft uh, meta in file, you might have to do that manually. But other than that, uh, actually we can try it. Let me do add mod. Let me just go to my desktop here and grab a mod. Let's grab this. Uh, here we go, we'll just grab that, pop that in there. And we'll fire it up. Downloading the Minecraft packages. Go, and it's loading up. It's okay, so it does remove the meta in file. As you can see, this FML is setting up your Minecraft environment. And boom, just like that, we installed a mini map, so we'll make sure that's all working and everything. And then I'll wrap this puppy up, I'll maximize the window. Let's just say we'll connect to our community server mc.mindcastshow.com 25566. And just like that, our server is there, 152. And so while this is loading, there you go, minimap, everything's working. No need to go, now you, I didn't even have to go in and delete meta in for any of that stuff. It's all done for you. This is what all the pros use. So if you see a pro out there that does a vanilla Minecraft series or, and then a modded series, uh, like, Captain Sparkles, I'm sure this is what he's using. I'm sure he's not uh, keep going in and adding the mods back into his Minecraft. 
So I'm sure this is what he uses. Thanks for watching. Remember to click the like button, comment, and subscribe for more Minecraft videos.